We are at Crosley State Fish and Wildlife Area. With tales of a Bigfoot. Again. Again. In case you didn't know, I'm a Bigfoot guy. I love Bigfoot. So if I could, I would do this forever. <laughs> Just Bigfoot. Anyway, in 2006, there was four boys down here. They were fishing. And I guess it was kind of nighttime fishing. And they had heard a commotion. They were fishing at the pond. They heard a commotion, turned around, shined a flashlight. They saw two red eyes glowing back at them, about eight foot tall in the woods. Um, it got, a, just, the creature started getting aggressive by shaking the trees and grunting. And that's when the boy with the flashlight dropped the flashlight and started running back to their truck. All four of them started running back to their truck. The Bigfoot dropped down on all fours, started running after them. And then when they got back to the truck, it stood up and walked into the cornfield. You see, that's uh, when they got back to town, they had told everybody what, what happened. And people believed them up until to the part where they said that the Bigfoot dropped down on all fours. And everybody's like, ah, you guys are making that up now. Yeah. But as you know, or as the people in the Bigfoot community know, that that is possible. So for them to uh, say that back, what, 11 years ago, that's t to me, that just solidifies their, their story. Mm -hmm. You would think it was just another Bigfoot story that somebody just, a couple kids made up. But why would they make that up? And then, like a week later, there was another boy here, and he was squirrel hunting. This is the best one. He had a shotgun, and he was squirrel hunting, and he heard some rustling in the woods. He thought it was a squirrel. He raised his shotgun, and then out came this creature. It With was, matted hair. Yeah, what? it had matted brown hair. That's what they, the report said. Like and mine. <laughs> and then um, it was standing up and from the reports it wanted to play it started throwing leaves and kind of prancing around circling the boy and <laughs> the boy started running and it started running after him but it it just left him alone after it got to after the boy got to his vehicle and he kind of got chased out of the the woods with it so well, this is north vernon indiana and we're here on, here on a saturday yes on a saturday it's really a, nice out it's kind of cool it's like we're the only ones here there's nothing happening here it's so quiet very quiet around here it's probably a great place to come during the night it's kind of creepy during the day yes it is maybe that's because we know what goes on in the woods <laughs> all right y'all as always keep following us like our page tell your friends go to youtube subscribe get us out there guys we are relying on you <laughs> and keep it weird Okay, we're rolling. See if you can't see anything. Hey y'all, it's Wiser's Weird Wonderings. Today. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, we uh, we are at. Is that good? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, what don't you like? You don't like the today we are at. No. Okay, you you just said what? Alright, let's just start over. Alright. I got nothing to look at. I'm freaked I out. I know. It's a good experience. Hey y'all, it's Wiser's Weird Wonderings and we're at Crosley. Crowley. <laughs> <laughs> thought it was Crosley. Crosley. What'd I say? Crowley. Crowley.
just like runs across the road. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. What was that? I don't know. It, was, it sounded like a tree fell down. It was really, really loud as we were filming. But the wind's not blowing. I mean, it has been raining, so the roots could have been weak from all the rain. Who knows, but that was pretty cool. I've heard two trees today fall in the woods, and yes, they do make a noise. <laughs>